Maybe you think that this is some kind of new special effect. Maybe you think I'm being held hostage in my own bedroom by a fanatical group of leftist blonde haters. Nope, you're all wrong. Actually, I've gone off and joined the circus. What do you mean you don't believe me? I did. I joined Circus of the Stars. And the way they train you night and day is a full-time job. You'll see the results next week of all this pain. Believe me, it's no picnic. But it is something Rhonda has never done before. Tonight, you'll be seeing a lot of things people have never done before, including our three movies, Man Killers, Sweet Sugar, and Meatballs 3. Put them all together, and you've got a sweet and sour dinner that could kill even the bravest of men, sort of like this act. Whew. First thing we're going to do is get started with the film Man Killers, and I'll see if I can't get someone to help me out of this. to that hunting episode of Man Killers. By recruiting female prisoners, McKenna sure is putting new meaning into the phrase, battle of the sexes. Now, here's one woman McKenna won't be able to take prisoner. It's Tracy Scoggins from the soon-to-be-released films Time Bomb and Dangerous Toys. I worked with her on Circus of the Stars and chatted with her about the kind of women she'll be playing in her new film. I'm kind of a butt kicker girl in these. God, mm -hmm. I just can't imagine why. I, I don't know. You know, I play an assassin in one and a police detective in the other one. Ooh! Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you why in a second, but you know, Tracy is going to be doing the trapeze act, so you have to watch on Circus of the Stars because, whoa, we're talking awesome. Now, Tracy, I really want my viewers to eat their heart outs on USA up all night. Can you, like, do some of those, what do you call those things? That... Oh, chin ups? Yeah, those sure. things. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay, watch this, guys, all right? You USA up all night, viewers. Check this out. Up all night. <laughs> and for all you guys out there in the audience, I want you to do this too, because I think you can. A little spin over, Tracy, maybe? One. Whoa. Hey, how about a hand for Tracy Scoggins? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh. And now, let's pay a little of our rent and then go back to see just what kind of man killers McKenna ends up with. and I want to share it with each and every one of my Up All Night viewers. Now, I know you don't believe in Santa Claus anymore, so this Christmas, Rhonda will make one lucky viewer's holiday wishes come true. Just send me your Dear Rhonda holiday wish list. One winner will be randomly picked to win everything on their list. Five runners-up will each receive an Olympus Infinity Zoom 230 camera, so you don't miss another O oh, this holiday season. Send your Dear Rhonda wish list, along with your name, address, age, and daytime phone number to Dear Rhonda, Olympus sweepstakes P.O. Box 3966 New York, New York 10185 and don't forget to leave milk and cookies by the fireplace for Rhonda and watch Up All Night December 20th when I'll announce all the winners so make your list and check it twice Rhonda knows if you've been naughty or not nice. Jingle around the clock Man killers to see how convincing McKenna can be in recruiting convicted prisoners to do an FBI kind of job. Hmm, FBI. That's female, blonde, and irresistible. Sort of like Rhonda. <laughs> Now, here's another circus pal who's male, brunette, and irrepressible. From a different world, Corey Tyler. Hey, everybody out there. <laughs> Peace to you. What's going on? <laughs> now, What's going on? what they really want to know is, what is it like to do the cradle? Wow, it's something that we've uh, been working on for about three months now, and it's great because it's, it's been like a challenge. And so every day we're coming over, Danny and myself, we keep working on it, keep working on it. So we're here. It's something that we're very proud of now that we've reached. And so uh, we're ready to do the circus next week, tape it, and uh, it's very exciting, and I think that we're pretty much ready to do it. It is an accomplishment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Now, definitely. do you have more fun doing this than our, than our different oh, world? I love it both. Just the same. Just the same. Uh, so I, I know. We've become circus yeah. performers. <laughs> it was strange, you know, practicing up on the trampoline, the 
first day and everything got down and I felt as if the solid ground was a trampoline. You get that weird feeling. But we've worked out all the kinks, you know, and, and all the fears and it's just going out and doing the best you can. And Adrenaline High, is it yeah. great? Oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> Trainers are crazy and, you know, it's great. All right. All right. Corey Tyler from a different world. All right. Thanks a lot, Rhonda. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, doing circus was so much fun. Let's see what fun McKenna has in the next scene. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare myself here for another little circus trick. Come on back, won't ya? Wow! That was some kind of line that Rhonda's fans wouldn't want to cross. Some of the things those ladies have done in the past, I'm surprised that none of them have run for public office. Oh, maybe there's still time. They're young. Well, one way to keep your young and youthful look is to do exactly what I do. Hang upside down for hours at a time on a long rope. It's the latest rage in Hollywood. That is, if you're on Circus of the Stars. Look, here I am, keeping my complexion radiant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is for the wonderful comedian who worked for weeks to learn to look like she didn't know what she was doing. The vivacious host and popular cable of the popular cable series Up All Night, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rhonda Shear. Yay! That's the senior act producer, Gordon Smith. He is the one who kept me in tow for all those weeks of rehearsal. And just wait until you see it under the tent with my fabulous costume. But wait, I can't give it all away. When we come back, I'll have a sneak preview of what Rhonda will be wearing from the creator himself. <laughs> no, not God. <laughs> the costume designer's silly. This is Pete Menefee, who is very classy. He is doing all the wardrobe for Circus of the Stars. And give us some of your other credits, because they're too awesome for Rhonda to remember. Uh, first of all, I'm not responsible for anything you're looking at on camera right now, uh, except for what I have on. <laughs> Besides being able to work with Rhonda, I've dressed Shirley MacLaine and Anne Margaret, Goldie Hawn. I'm sorry. And the unveiling of the Statue of Liberty? Yes, I dressed her, too. You actually invented, created the, the Statue of Liberty? No. You're not that old, Pete. No. <laughs> but, Pete, you think there's hope for Rhonda? I think that there's plenty of hope for Rhonda. I think she has a big career in front of her, so to speak. And wait till you see the costume that Rhonda has on Circus of the Stars that, yes, Pete created. He did it. <laughs> and you have to admit to it, admit it. It's yes, I, I, yes, yes, I did. Pete, yes. The end of a career. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever hire me again unless they want I will. feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pete is just kidding. He has one of the most illustrious careers in Hollywood. And here's just a teeny peek at what he's designed for Rhonda. Circus of the Stars airs next Friday night on CBS at 9. At 11, you can watch Rhonda right here on USA. Oh! all night. Put it on your calendar right now so you won't miss a spectacular evening of circus and Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda! <laughs> now, let's return to our film Man Killers and see if our 10 female prisoner volunteers are going to accept their man bashing assignment. No doubt they have the right credentials for it. <laughs> Rhonda with some of our circus friends. Who do we have here? Upside down. It's Julie Kandra from Erie, Indiana, who plays Cindy. Are you evil or sweet? I'm sweet with a hen of evil. You Ooh. never quite know. Rhonda likes that. Now, <laughs> Julie's doing something amazing on Circus of the Stars. She is flying through the air on the trapeze. Now, is it hard? I have my days where it's really, really hard. But it's exciting. It's fun. Oh, no, it's discipline. It really is, because we're up here every day, even when we're working late nights. I've been shooting a lot of nights lately. So um, I'm up here early in the morning trying to get the circus in every day. So it's fun. But you're so teeny and tiny. What about those muscles? What are you I'm growing muscles. Look at that rope burn. That's a nice one. She's growing muscles. Ron has been trying that for years. <laughs> anyway, we're going to look for Julie on Circus of the Stars in Erie, Indiana. Good luck, and you are beautiful up there. Thank you. Okay. Give USA up all night viewers an evil look. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> one peek at a few commercials, and we'll be back with more man killers and stars here on USA. Up!
this is a lot of fun and good exercise after you've eaten a good meal. You guys go to commercial, and we'll be back faster than two shakes of a belly dancer's tail. <laughs> Go to our film, Getting Lucky, and see if anyone has gotten it yet. And while you guys are gone, I'll stay here at Dharma Grab and see what else is shaking. <laughs> Some more films, the shower scene. And speaking of showers, I really like the tile here at Dharma Grab. I wouldn't mind having some of it at the Rhonda apartment. I understand all of this tile is an exact replica of ancient Moroccan tile. Wait a minute. I don't think credit cards got started in Morocco. And if they did, shouldn't it be a Marrakesh? Don't leave home without it. In the meantime, you guys go to commercial. We'll be back with more of USA up all night. Dharma Grab, where everyone's dreaming of Rhonda. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ahmed. There's only one little slight problem at Rhonda sees. There's no utensils, there's no fork. Could you get Rhonda a fork? Sorry, man. Moroccan tradition, you have to use what Allah gave you. No. Sorry, man. No. Sorry. He said he bought it in the Irish week. Rhonda here at Dharma Grab. Oh, it's wonderful here. The food is so different. Mmm, 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 mmm. What's that? Pigeon. Pigeon? Sure. You don't believe me? Look, he brought you a message. Great. The food and talks. Let's go back to our film, Getting Lucky, for more action. What a brave bird. He just happened to make a wrong turn at the kitchen. We'll be back. Hi, gang. We're in the middle of our film, Getting Lucky in I Dream of Rhonda Night here on USA Up All Night. And before we go back to our film, I'd like to do the Rhonda interview with our belly dancer, Shakira. Now, let me just ask you a couple of questions. I know that you won the Miss Belly Dance America 1990. Miss America of the Belly Dance, the belly dance. 1990. Now that, that's pretty awesome. Now I want to know, was there a talent? Uh, obviously it was talent. Did you have to do like the interview and the top questions? All the I questions? had to do was dance. That's it? All I had to do. You didn't have to like be nice to the judges or anything? <laughs> well, can you just show us what one, give us like your best belly dance move. Go on, go for it. I will... Oh my gosh! We have surprises here for you on USA Up All Night. I think with that, I'm just going to go right back to our film. We'll be back. Can you teach Ron to that? Wow. Ooh. Hi, gang. You know, it's not every day that I get to recreate a scene from our movie, but I just can't resist. On guard! I said, fight like a camel. Oh, you guys go to commercial, and we'll come back to the final segment of our film, Getting Lucky. I said, on guard. <laughs> I can see why the producers wrote this into the film. You just can't beat dueling shish kebabs with a stick. You're a wimp. You're a wimp. dream of Rhonda here at Dharma Greb. And I'm enjoying the food very much. But every time I look at this bread basket, I can't help but think how much the top of it reminds me of a dunce cap. Don't you agree? <laughs> oh, and speaking of dunce caps, don't forget to watch Gilbert Gottfried on Saturday night at the same time for his show on the USA Network. Now, let's go to the final segment of our film, Getting Lucky. 
Hi, gang. It's I Dream of Ronda Knight here at Dollar McGrib. And I hope you enjoyed our first film, Getting Lucky. Yeah. We've just completed our meal here, and it was so wonderful. But I think I'm ready for just a little bit of tea. Oh, waiter, may I have some tea, please? Ooh, very nice. Very oh, good shot. You must never miss one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's start our second film, Swinging Summer, and see what happens when you take early rock and mix it with bikinis. Wait, did I say rock? I mean early Raquel and mix it with bikinis. You get big ratings. That's what you get. Okay, it's time for Swinging Summer. Can I have some more tea? Can I have some more tea? Wow. Thanks, Oxman. Just love that sound. Well, why not, Magic Hollywood Lamp? Because you're just a little too greedy. <laughs> and you, my little precious Arab chiquette, have overstayed your time in the I Dream of Run the World. And now, <laughs> my precious pet, it is time to turn you back into the Ronda Cuddly Couch Companion. Well, what if I don't want to? Then I'll turn you into Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies! Oh, okay, Magic Hollywood Lamp, um, do your stuff. <laughs> hey, not bad. <laughs> Well, okay, why don't you guys go back to our film, Swinging Summer, and see if you can recognize Raquel Welsh in the crowd of people. In case you don't know, she's the one with the eyebrows from outer space, if you even notice her eyebrows. All night. And we're in the middle of our film, Swinging Summer. You know, I better take a minute to explain something to you. This is a malt. And a long time ago, teenagers used to meet in a place called a malt shop. They would sit around, drinking malts, and talking with other teenagers. Yes, why am I explaining this to you now? Because before we roll this next segment, I thought I'd better remind you that the producers of this film want you to believe that all of those middle-aged people are supposed to be teenagers. And it's a cheap excuse for me to enjoy a malt and a cherry. Enjoy the clip, I'll enjoy the sip.